I was beginning my workout and the gentleman came up, took off his shirt. You know, obviously I noticed he was extremely large. It's not unusual in that area to have professional athletes at that gym, but I didn't, I, I didn't really know who he was. Um, knew immediately there was something off. He was just uh, what I would call ADD with his exercises. He was lasting about five, six seconds um, with each one and just seemed upset. He then went to the boxing mannequin and, and tore it off its pedestal and threw it down on the ground like in a wrestling move and then sat on its face. And I was just like, this, this, this isn't right. And I'm just running around. He started cutting me off while I was running around and I was just didn't know what was happening. And um, the next thing I know it, I got nailed by a tennis ball. It's the, the field's adjacent to a tennis court. So there's a lot of tennis balls in that area. And I, I basically said, Hey, what, what the fuck dude? And he just said, yeah, I don't know what exactly what he said then, but I, he went right to the sled that I had put together to push down the field and he took it and tried to run me over with it. And he basically said, get the fuck off my playground. And I was like, dude, I don't know what's your problem. And I just sort of went away. I think it was that time he started running, cutting me off again. And he picked up a dumbbell and he threw it at me. And that's when I said, you know what? I was listening to music. I got my phone, called 911. And he immediately started yelling at me, who are you calling? Who are you calling? Are you, are you with the fucking police? I'm not the police, the government. I'm like, no, dude. And he just cursing at me. The operator uh, heard him, told me to immediately get away from him. I did. Police arrived out front. One stayed with me. Two went up to, to uh, interview or talk to Richie. And that's when I found out who it was. A trainer came up and said, hey, listen, that's... Richie Incognito, or however you pronounce his last name. And what I was told and, and what I saw was him being put in the back of the police car handcuffed. But the police officer said they were going to take him, I don't know what their protocol is, you know, to, an, to a hospital. Um, so it wasn't, to the best of my knowledge, it wasn't an arrest because of what he was had done to me. I, I could have pressed charges, but before I had said press charges, they had already evaluated and talked to him. And they, they did mention that he was then commenting that the government was after him. And, and so they, that's why they wanted to bring him in for further evaluation. I just want him to get help. Um, obviously, he was, he was not doing well um, this morning. Um, maybe took it out on me a little bit. I'm thankful that I didn't get hurt, <laughs> you know, or he, he could have done serious damage uh, to me physically. Um, he did not. Um, so I'm blessed. Just would love to see him get, get healthy.